Hello, my good friend Scott. We are going to ask you some questions today. Okay. Number one. What is your favorite variety of potato chip? Well, I like a lot of potato chips. There is a wide variety. I like tortilla chips, Doritos, and most of all, dill pickle. What about you? I also sometimes eat potato chips. I like all dressed. Or those lime ones with the limes. Better than none, no dressed. Uh, uh, good one, my friends. That is named Scott. I'll be here all week. I got a juice box, so. Hey Megan, how is that juice box? It is very juicy. And it is a medley frite. What? I don't speak Spanish. Can you translate? I think it means potato broccoli juice. That tastes delicious. I concur. I don't speak Polish. That reminds me, sort of really unrelated, but I finished French 11 online, which is good. And I didn't learn a thing this year. Well, now I know what that means, but only because there's the English translation on the back. Potato? Broccoli. I can read. We're in English 12. Yep. Are you guys getting A's? Yeah. Uh-huh. It is 40%, right? Perfect. Awesome. Christopher, do you have anything to say? I don't, actually. Do you have anything to ask me? Um, what is your favorite type of potato chip? Um, I like Mrs. Vicky's because they have a nice crunch to them. Um, Sun Chips are nice because they you, you keep eating them all day, all night, every day, every night for ten minutes. Okay. So Yuri, what's your favorite type of potato chip? Um, Pringles. Oh, that's very convenient because there's Pringles over there. Nathan, what is your favorite type of potato chip? <laughs> Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar. My favorite is Miss Vicky's. Uh, I, can, I can't remember the flavor. Oh, well. <laughs> Two main types of puns are homographic and homophonic puns. Homographic puns are puns that use a word that has two different meanings, so it looks the same graphic. And homophonic puns are use two words that sound similar, mean different things, they're a little bit easier to make up. Like earlier, someone said to Amanda that she was classy, and then someone else said that she was glassy because they were talking about her glasses. And then the third type of pun are homophobic puns. Homophobic puns are puns that yeah, that um, that discriminate against gay people. So those are the worst type of puns. <laughs> That's okay, but and they're okay. Anna, you should use homophonic and homographic puns. Homographic puns are better because they're the same word. Give us an homographic pun. Homographic. I don't know. Um, oh, there was a dog, and it. It, it, it gave birth to a litter of puppies on the side of the street, and someone walking by was like, that's littering. <laughs> Puns are great. Pun. Pun. And here's a compound pun, and you can figure out what a, a compound pun is all by yourself. Where do you find the giant snails? On the giant's fingers. Why was the mole really happy after leaving the singles bar? Why? Because he got Avogadro's number. Ah, that's that's cute. Why was the mole I mean, really happy after leaving the single it, it, was, it was fine after we started drinking. Is it, because he got Avogadro's number. Oh. Can you go blind off like one shot? I'm not good at chemistry, so I don't know. It's funny. Okay, well, I have a joke for you. It tastes like gas. What do you call a nun in a wheelchair? Don't do it. What? Virgin Mobile. Me neither, but don't do it. Uh, okay. What do you call a nun in a, in a wheelchair? I, I know I want to just go what? down there. Virgin Mobile. <laughs>